ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के ये जलसा हमारा ये दिन बरकतों के खुदा की इनायत और शफतों के ये दिन हो मुबारक वट इज योर मोस्ट फेवरेट थिंग अबाउट जलसा So my favorite thing about Jalsa has to be the vibe of the entire hall when everyone comes together to work together. Dal chawal. Seeing everyone again after a very long time and getting to connect spiritually. My favorite thing this year is that we are starting the Send area. This is a brand new thing in Canada and I'm very excited as an educator that works with special needs. I'm excited to work with Ahmadi's children that have special needs as well. What are the must haves in your Jalsa bag? Number 1 has to be my ID card because you can't really get in to the Jalsa without the ID card. Your ID card is your entry ticket. So usually I would have my ID card but I lost it. Hand sanitizer, a water bottle, and just like water. I pack a cushion and also my wallet and money so I can buy kofi. My volunteer badge, a shawl, a notebook with a pen to make notes. I try to grab a diary and a pen too. This year, Lajna Imaila is also celebrating its 100-year centenary. How do you think Lajna has contributed to this blessed convention? When I look at Lajna's journey in in Canada, I see that we have done a lot for this jamaat and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah I believe that this is the perfect time for us to celebrate this blessed event. I think Lajna has contributed very greatly because they work as volunteers alongside the men so it's kind of like everybody's showing an equal effort while obviously doing part at the same time. What are you most looking forward to from the Lajna session? I'm most looking forward to hearing all of the female speakers and hearing their opinions and views on things because I guess as sisters we can ha- we have a connection right for sisterhood. So I think it would be very interesting to see their viewpoints and kind of apply that in my daily life. I'm looking forward to the speech of uh, our national secretary uh, Norma Bayat. Uh, her speech, the t- topic of her speech is uh, the um, nearness to God, and I believe that this is the spirit of the Jalsa. What I'm most looking forward to, as someone who works in special education throughout the school year, is to meet Ahmadi moms visiting the Send area and helping them with their Jalsa Ga experience as well. What message would you like to give our viewers about experiencing the blessings of Jalsa? that it's so worth it to sacrifice your time a lot of people take work off on Fridays i think it's so worth it to come to this blessed convention it's a place of so many blessings we all should try to experience and take the most benefit from this opportunity because jalsa only happens once a year so we all should try our hardest to make the most of this these 3 days come only once a year and it's very important to take as much blessings and knowledge as you can